Welcome back to Just a Printer. I'm Dan. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the upper fuser roller on the fuser in the uh, Konica Minolta 1200 Pro. I have a new roller and while I'm in there I'm going to swap out the web as well then go inside and reset the counters for both. We should be up and running in no time. best to do this first thing in the morning or let it cool for a while otherwise it's quite hot but I'm uh, gonna open her up we have one screw here and we can lift our fuser towards us and up okay we have four screws to take out two here and two right here. Then you can open this up and this top will just fold open. So I could really actually keep running for this roller for quite a while. There's just a gouge here and a gouge here. And this one just runs down the center of the sheet see it right there uh, which just happens to be right between two books when I'm printing it so it doesn't really matter but uh, what I'll do is I'll just keep this on the shelf uh, just in case uh, something happens like this again uh, because that's what happened to the previous one and it delaminated there and on the other side so it's pretty easy to do this. Uh, we're going to disconnect the electrical connections on both sides. Uh, and then the, this fuser roller is just going to lift out. Then we're going to take off the insulating sleeves and bearings, put that on the new one, put the lamps in, and do it all in reverse. If you don't already know, never touch lamps with your hands. You can only touch the ends. Your oils on your fingers could uh, cause the lamp to break. I have an extra set of insulating sleeve and bearings. I'm just going to let that one on there.
This can sometimes be a pain in the neck because those wires get caught right inside here. So you have to kind of fish those connectors up over that groove. Once you set the fuser down in here, I usually like to keep the lamps over this way a little bit, and then uh, then you can kind of you need one lamp to go on each side of this metal holder here. So when, once those are both positioned in, then we can just let that go. Come over here. Put this bracket back on. Then you're all done. If you're not changing the web, well actually, either way, because we changed the web from the top, this gets rotated back down. Put your four screws in. Let's change the web next. For the web, we just gotta take these two screws out, and this top plate comes off. So both of these rollers move towards the side here that has these metal boxes. This is spring-loaded. So you just push it towards that side and then you can pull it out. And same with the clean side here that's towards us. And after you click the new one in, you want to advance it until this blue line disappears. Now we're good. And don't forget to go into your service mode here. And clear the counter special parts counter uh, and then we go next fixing roller top fixing roller that had a little over a million clicks on it let's clear that and also Da, 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 da. Where would be the cleaner? Fixing cleaning web. Oh, it's the first one. Clear that one. So, then we're good. Should be good for another million miles. See you in the next one.